Not having access to reliable internet disproportionately affects rural areas, impacting access to jobs and education. Cornwall-based Wildernet is a certified B Corp which aims to tackle digital exclusion and inequality by providing fast, reliable connectivity to the region. At Wildernet's Cornwall-based training centre, engineers of the future are put through their paces. The company's apprenticeship scheme demonstrates its commitment to the regions it serves, enabling young people to stay local and building a more resilient economy able to withstand the seasonal dips of tourism. It's one of the first jobs that I've had really where they really invest in their staff and they really, really put the effort into upskill you. Um, and the support that they've given me to get through this apprenticeship programme, I just don't think you'd find that anywhere else. You wouldn't get that in an educational setting. Um, so what they've done here is incredible, really. We've basically set up our training academy. We've built a pole field. We've got all the facilities here on site in Cornwall to do that. And we actually run an apprentice scheme with uh, Penwith and Truro College, which allows us to bring in lots of young apprentices who then learn how to be an engineer. It's a simple knot. Just run it around. Ensuring it has the people it needs to support the business of bringing digital connectivity to all is central to Wildernet's mission. So we're doing all the stuff that nobody else will do, partly through Project Gigabit, uh, which was a government funded uh, scheme, which allows us to reach places like farms, really remote clifftop houses, really remote communities which are hard to access either because of where they actually are or because it's on granite or it's just very, very remote. And in itself, what that actually does is something quite different because what we're really doing is we're providing freedom for the digital revolution here in Cornwall so that people don't get left behind. Yeah, that one's now looking like it's clear. With cutting edge technology enabling complete oversight of their networks, Wildernet can spot a problem before their customers are even aware of it, with support for them going further than just the technical. We have two sides to it really in that there's the build side, where we are uh, out in the communities building the new network, um, you know, adding that connectivity where it didn't for, didn't previously exist. But then we need to operate and run the business after that, right? So we've got to connect customers to it. We've got to keep those customers happy. So you know, we have our own customer services team based right here in this guard in Cornwall. There's marketing, sales opportunities, so it's not just the technical side, there's any other parts of a business that you'd expect to see exist here at WorldNet too. And as a proud member of Cornwall's B Corp community, working with others to become a more sustainable business, it's no surprise that it attracts customers like Kabila. Wildernet's commitment to the environment is well illustrated by its relationship with Kabila, a rewilding retreat in the heart of Bodmin Moor, which has been able to promote the health benefits of spending time in green spaces thanks to vastly improved connectivity. When you're this remote, it's very hard to find good, reliable broadband and internet connections, especially in remote areas. And down here in Cornwall, there really isn't anything, and you get very used to trying desperately to survive on 3G. Um, and will have been the solution to that. And what difference has that connectivity meant for I mean, your it's, businesses? It's been pivotal, it's been hugely important. The fact that we can now communicate with clients for our business, Kabila, Kabila Cornwall, um, and, and have that um, constant uh, ability to interact with people from a very remote location, but also for our charity, the Thousand Year Trust, which focuses on researching this habitat, Atlantic Temperate Rainforest. The number of researchers, scientists and academics who come here to conduct studies in this forest, they're able to do their work because of the connection that, that Wildernet gives us. I don't want to see anyone in the southwest get left behind in the digital revolution. I absolutely believe that digital inclusion is the way to resolve poverty in, co in countries such as the UK. And therefore, the quicker we can provide that connectivity, make it affordable, skill people up and provide them with a the kit to do it, the better the economy will be. Because nobody wants charity. What they want is just the opportunity to be the best they can be. And what we're trying to do down here is just create a platform for that level of success.